Hi Aquarius, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Once again, it's very, very general, so use your intuition to your own guide. If you do want to book a personal reading, the turnaround time is three to five days, and the link is down below. Um, so this is going to be an interesting reading here. Once again, you can flip it how you need to. I could be saying he, and I mean she, him, it, they, you know. It goes on. It goes on and on. It goes on and on. All right, so what's going on here is that somebody who's a spiritual assassin here got a lot going on if you are unfamiliar with what a spiritual assassin is these people are basically they're a little bit similar to agents but agents it's like agents do their dirty work or agents do the informational work and etc but um these people either uh, control agents spiritual agents or like i said they work alongside them depending on if it's like a a solo type of thing or if you know nobody is working with them or alongside them but what's going on here let's go ahead and pull your energy first aquarius that i'm gonna get out of there with your crazy self yes yeah, so a four pentacles and a three pentacles of verse so a heavy earth sign energy regarding the material realm capricorn virgo taurus energy because they are earth signs so it's giving feminine energy off the bat off the rip but then we do have the world card here Hold on. It's more like it. Right. So whoever this person is, um, they are in your energy heavy. You could be seeing the angel number 134, 234, 138, okay, 732. Okay, those threes are of significance. But this person is the, this is the person who's been playing on your phone. So if you've been getting like specific can't even talk they don't want me to say this suspicious text messages um whether either yeah specific, su can't even fucking talk suspicious text messages were either they're like the fake um inauguration or voting hey this is this person or maybe you've been getting uh weird ass phone calls or weird um uh, if they're not text messages or like uh prompts and stuff that's coming to your phone it could also be like phone calls where Motherfuckers leaving you voicemails about shit that you don't even know about or like people that you don't even know. Okay? Yeah. Whoever this person is, they're trying to, um, how do you say, make sure they're covering their ass. They're trying to make sure they're covering their ass as good as possible. Because somebody was supposed to take the conservative approach, but they went rogue or they started doing Russian roulette or that somehow they didn't follow protocol. And you see how this bird is just chirp, 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 chirping outside because the streets is talking. The streets is talking. The spiritual streets and the physical streets is talking. Yeah. Also, somebody could like wrestling or WWE. I don't know why I'm saying like you can't see me. Like this person thinks you can't see them. Or they're trying to like... Give me one second. That's confirmation. Anyways, like I was saying here, whoever this person is, like I said, they don't work with a group. There are many people who want to collaborate them, collaborate with this person at one point or they did have a collaborative group or approach but instead they broke free or they did like something pro bono or by themselves or they rather be like you know um a free agent okay and with the world card of verse this person is actually stunting their growth but their, their their job was to not only break you spiritually but stunt your growth stunt your progress or stunt you from completing some type of either cycle all right spiritual about that so there's so many different um, interferences with this reading. So, like I said, there are multiple either. For some of you guys here, there could be, like, multiple cloaking um, or, like, protective measures that are taken to make sure the person either isn't revealed, their plan isn't revealed, or they don't blow their cover. Um, but whoever the spiritual assassin is, like I said, not only do they have your phone tapped or they've been making um, false numbers and phone calls and different things like that. Okay, this is a confirmation he got the phone was tapped. Also, you can definitely, I want to say... Pound, you can do star pound six seven and then do pound again. It should come up with your phone settings and tell you if your phone is tapped. I know somebody did tap my phone and I'll try to show you guys how to do it. But, anyways, like I said, spiritual session. This person here, not only do they have your phone tapped, they could have like for some of you guys, they have certain cameras or different things to where they're watching you online, either they're watching you in person, watching you come and leave your house, or watching you when they think that no one is watching. So, like, you know, for example, if you have a, a ring camera in your house, I don't know if you guys have been hearing about it lately, but those ring cameras, people are actually hacking them, or they're Google cameras. People who work there, they're hacking them so they can watch people while they're getting dressed, or whatever they're doing in their home, and different things like that. But, you know, or somebody could have recently mentioned a hacker in a conversation, whether it was a joke or not. 
yeah but like i said whoever the spiritual assassin is they're, <laughs> they're trying to retreat they're trying to cover their ass um like i said they are rogue so whatever company or whatever agents or whatever type of uh coalition grouping or federation that they were working for or working um with here in conjunction somehow that contract is null and void or somehow um they ruined that yeah they ruined it because i'm getting seven of pentacles here maybe they they wanted more than they were than they were worth yeah and this person refused to do like either um the soul searching the improving work the shadow work or you know how when you're at work and they'd be like okay we're doing your annual uh performance or um, taking constructive criticism to make yourself better. Like, for example, if you work for the FBI or, like, a special agency, CIA, etc., you're a police officer, you know you have to do, you know, your yearly, um, not only health checkup here to make sure that you're able to do the job properly or whatever it may be. Something of the sort is, is, is in um, significance for the situation here. But, like I said, this person did not pass that. And, in turn, also, they got overwhelmed here. They could have been overly committed to their job or a specific case here and it got too personal. Either it got too personal, like I said, somehow something was, was ruined here with the Hierophant card here. This was something that was very big or this could even be something that was on the news or something that had a lot of publicity, all right, regarding it. And I feel like it made this person very, very happy, but they got too close, too personal or somehow if you're not assigned to the case or somehow they didn't have access anymore, access denied. But now the streets are talking about this person. I have Poe Man's Dreams here. Um, once again, that is another song of uh, Kendrick Lamar, I believe, on that album, if you want to listen to it. I'm going to play it in a second. But like I said, the streets are talking here about this person retreating or about them needing to retreat, okay? Yeah, because I'm getting the chariot card, the page of wands, the verse. Also, the movie I, Robot, and the movie I, Legend, could be a, I am Legend, could be a significance. Um, but yeah, the chariot card, Cancer Energy, we have the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the verse, the page of wands. So... The streets are talking. They're seeing how this person, while they're trying to move and relocate and, you know, get around and make it to where they still are keeping their willpower and they're determined to keep their control they have over you or their access or whatever it is. But this person needs to retreat because they have created too many setbacks here and they have lost their direction or they have no idea where they're going. Yeah. The person no longer taking the initiative. It's like they're... they're 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 doing too fucking much okay seven of cups here and then we have the nine of pentacles reverse not only are they they can't hold their heat this person thought they could do everything by themselves but now they're they're feeling the the after effects of them um going rogue okay but it's all because of this case in particular and the one before this this one is yours this could have been somebody else that you were doing before but um people are also saying this person's a snitch this person's trying to run away or run away from their problems here or, you know, escape as well because people are saying this person was a snitch. You know how sometimes when you're a cop or you watch, um, like, Law and Order or, you know, S um, CSI or whatever, they have to literally go undercover and act exactly how they would commit crimes and all this stuff to catch the bad guys for a bigger purpose, right, overall. This is, like, what this person had an assignment to. Either this is with you or the, the situation that happened before you. And instead here, instead of listening to their, you know, their boss or whoever controls them or gives them the initiative or whatever it is. Instead of them just listening, they didn't want to do that. Yeah. Instead, it's kind of like survival of the fittest. Yeah, magician card averse. They'd rather be manipulative here or they'd rather just, you know, manipulate the circumstances that they think is going to work in their favor, but now things aren't really working. Yeah, pay the sword. Like I said, this person's being stalked and watched heavily here because this person not only is a threat, but they're too smart for their own good here and they're ruining the, the fucking balance here, ruining plans and all in all, any type of new plans, ideas, or new information brought to the case or regarding you or anything they're working on is like somehow corrupted. That makes sense. All right, but. Like I said, this is this is the person here who's who's been doing all this stuff. Their goal was to spiritually break you here. Um, but like I said, this person here, like I said, they were supposed to get people to reject you, people to abandon you, people to cut you off, or you know, three of wands, seven of cups, people to um seek other options or look elsewhere or be preoccupied with other things that aren't you or have no type of uh importance to you or you having no importance to other people in their lives. Okay. Yeah, hermit card. This person was doing this behind the scenes here, or even doing this at night. Yeah, three of swords. That was them pulling the strings. Yeah. Yeah, it says let it all out. So like I said, this person could also be trying to, um, if your devices are tapped, or like I said, these different calls and different things here, 
um, the cameras, the videos, etc. This person is trying to make sure that they're not missing out on any information or with the eight of wands, the five of swords, what they can use against you, what they can use to not benefit them or keep them going or keep everything going. It's five 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 on a timestamp and my alarm's going off. That's another confirmation. Yeah, how can they change the circumstances or you know how solidify everything? Because I feel like this person had no direction, but this is why they were hacking everything that you had. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, because they're trying to figure out the Devil card here. How close can they get to you? Or with the Ten of Cups, the, the, the Sun card, and the Devil card. Ooh. How can they ruin your well-being? How can they ruin your happiness? How can they ruin your relationships when people reject you, abandon you, and all, and all in all make you go crazy, lose your mind, or seem as if you're one of these things? Because you know how... If you're crazy, nobody believes you. And if you, nobody believes you, they can lock you in a crazy house. And people can get money for that. And if that's the case, there's no point. There's no point. Your your spiritual journey or connection or whatever it is is null and void, right? Um, also, I want to go ahead and say, remember how back in the day in the 50s, if you talked about aliens or anything like that, you'd be in a crazy house. But now everything is normalized here. That is of significance here. Yeah, we have 444 here. And also we have the King of Pentacles. So like I said, whoever... This spiritual assassin is, they're they put in a lot of hard work to fuck up your well-being, your mental, spiritual, emotional health, and healing as well. Yeah, and it says, I am learning from you. Not only is this person learning from you, they're using you as their subject or their experiment here. So what could possibly go wrong? All right? Yeah, it says, buy that new thing. Like I said, you could have recently bought something new here, and this person could have wrote that down, or, you know, they may buy the same thing. They're trying to figure out why did you buy it. Yeah. This, whoever the spiritual assassin is, they could they could definitely be a water sign. It could be any sign here, but we have water sign literally on the card. We have Virgo here. Um, the specific signs, yeah, we have Virgo, we have water sign, we have earth sign, we have Taurus and Leo, we have Sagittarius, Libra, Aries, and Capricorn. Okay, so that's all we really have right now here. Well, let's see what Aquarius needs to be aware of at this current time being. Yeah, no man's land. This person is either no man's land here or they're trying to retreat. So this is like your time to where you have the power to kind of nip this in the bud or track their track they ass all the way down. Yeah, either somebody that you're roommates with or somebody that you're a friend with here, or this is them. Somehow they're in connection or they're connected to this person or this individual. So you're not that far off, okay? Yeah, but this person is at a distance from you. So whoever this mutual is that will give you the connection or scoop on this person, they are at a distance here. All right. But when it comes to you in the situation, let's go ahead and pull some cards here and see what should be your next moves. Yeah, the Empress card. Yeah, the Ten of Cups and the, and, and the Seven of... Excuse me. The Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. The Four of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Focus on getting your money back, getting your finances back, or I'm getting rejuvenating everything, restoring your whole entire life. Or the restorative um, changes may have already happened here. The Seven of Cups, new doors being opened. New things blossoming for you. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles here. And then I have the Queen of Swords. And then I have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you deserve this. Five of Wands. First has been trying to cause chaos and conflict. But I feel like their whole agenda, their whole MO is being trashed. Just because, like, everything would have been fine if they didn't try to go rogue or they didn't have a big ego or whatever the fuck they did, but they did it anyways. Also, for some of you guys, whoever this person is, they be sleeping with your friends. They've slept with one of your friends before. This is how they know one of your friends. This is how they somehow connect to date. They either slept with one of your friends here and they're emotionally blackmailing them, so this is why you don't know this. Okay? Yeah. I'm seeing that here as well for some of you guys here because it keeps coming out. It's inevitable. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and pull some Mystic Martian Oracle on you, this person, and everything involved. I'm going to drop the damn cards. Okay. Hold on. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Let's pull Aquarius' energy. So we have the Syrians class B responsibilities, lessons, and going up. So I feel like this is a lesson for you. Domino, get out of there. This is a lesson for you, or more importantly, here, this is, you know, showing what this person is responsible for or how to live your life. You're trying to live your best life. You're trying to grow and evolve here. And I feel like this person here, this is inspiration, all and dreams. They are inspired by you, but you are inspired to move on and be better. 
whoever this uh, spiritual assassin is, we have the number one and we have the number eight. Mystery reading between the lines and intuition. And then we have Agarthians manifesting multidimensional perception and attunement. Yeah, this person has access to certain things that you don't have access to or that could be null and void that you can't really read towards because somehow something is out of focus. Yeah. Or they're hindering the fact that you have access to this due to them. This is a part of their path. You have messages, curiosities, and signs. You're supposed to be getting them, but you're not. This person's getting them instead. Okay. And then I have water sign right here. So like I said, this person could definitely be a water sign. You have the water element. Okay. But yeah, that's the talk of the town. This is what's going on. All right. So this was the reading. All right. I don't want to go too much in depth, but I'm going to do a different video. I'll see you all later.